After having looked at and reviewed so many crappy emulation devices over the past few months, I figured it's time. We need to go back to the Raspberry Pi. So today what we're going to be looking at is a RetroPie image, 256 gigabytes with over 11,000 games for the Raspberry Pi 4. This thing has a lot going on for it. Some interesting things, Sega Saturn, 3DO, Atari Jaguar. There's a lot of PC systems on here. Tons of stuff that I've never played before on the Raspberry Pi, so I figured, you know what? This is gonna be pretty cool to check out. So this is from Ryan at iSight Design. He named the image the Jedi Rycade image, 256 gigabyte Pi 4 image. It is optimized and really made for a track mode, so right now we're just kind of scrolling through emulation station. We're gonna go ahead and swap over to a track mode, start testing stuff out. I'm really excited for this build. It's very intriguing, a lot of interesting things going on here. So, without further ado, let's get this party started. So here we go, we're in the attract mode side of things, and Ryan did say that he put together a lot of the elements within this build, this theme. But if, for example, you don't like the looks of this theme, how things are laid out, you can mess around with things within the attract mode setup, go to the display utilities, the theme downloader. There's a lot of configuration options here for you to mess around with things. But so far looking at this theme, it is fairly clean, it is simple. There's a lot of cool things with this build. Once you get into the actual games, let's say for example, arcade, everything has its own little layout. A lot of them will have a similar setup like this with the wheel art on the side, the Rycade arcade over there, but some things do mix it up. Now, I just wanted to kind of do an overview of this build, but I want to focus more so on the stuff that I've never played on the Raspberry Pi before, because a lot of this stuff's going to work just fine. Daphne works just fine. All the Neo Geo stuff, the arcade stuff, 16-bit, all those things work great. But there's going to be a lot of things here that I find interesting. We do have hacks as well, I noticed. So like Genesis hacks. I'm not big on the hacks, but sometimes you do find some interesting things here and there. And it's kind of worth messing around with, but there you go. The hacks, you probably won't have snaps for everything because it's kind of hard to get snaps for all the different hacks. We do have Mega CD, Dreamcast up in here. I think there's 37 games for Dreamcast. All your classics and hacks, right? Nintendo 64, we got a bunch of stuff there. Take a look, we got 65 games, so it's like a hand-picked selection because not all Nintendo 64 runs 100%, but this has been like handpicked and tested on a lot of these things from what I've seen and heard. So pretty cool. Let's test out Wave Race real quick. So far the controls feel fine, everything has been pre-set up. I'm using the Xbox 360 wired controller. I didn't have to do any setup myself. It just, everything was pre-configured, so that is nice. But yeah, this game, you know, not my preferred way to play Nintendo 64, but a little selection here to mess around with. Keep it moving. Oh, we do have some Sega Saturn here. Not a lot. There is a little bit. We got Shinobi Legions. Golden Axe the Duel, Galactic Attack, Contra. There you go. Just a handful of games, you know. Here we go. Golden Axe the Duel on the Sega Saturn. Been a little while since I played this one. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it does appear there's a little bit of frame skip action going on in this game. Not 100% smooth, but it is running. Give it that at least. 
Okay, a little Area 51. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. A little glitchy here. Oh, there we go. Man, it's kind of weird playing this without a light gun. Man, this was a classic. I can't play this game this way, though, but yeah, Saturn still not 100% for me on this thing. So let's keep it moving. PlayStation 1, you're going to have, like, pretty much everything in PlayStation 1 is going to run just fine. I've never found too much in the way of issues with PlayStation 1. PSP, what do we got in here? Oh, Ghouls and Ghosts from Russia with Love. Let's try out Ghostbusters. Dr. Stance, if you do the honors. Proud to, Dr. Venk. Full release. Now cadet. You got him on the run. So there you go. That was a little bit of Ghostbusters in the PSP. Seemed to run fine, even though I did have some audio issues and the audio was really low for some strange reason. Let's check out some 3DO real quick. There's a handful of games here. Now the one thing I have noticed with this theme and the overall image is with the the mismatch of things. There is a lot of like inconsistencies with how the artwork is laid out, like this little tiny ass box art. I don't really like that. You know, if I were to be critical about anything, that would be pretty much it. Is it's kind of inconsistent with the art style going on here, as far as how things are formatted. But like I stated earlier, that's stuff that you could fix yourself or just leave it as is. I mean, I think this is a nice starting point as far as an image to customize. Let's go ahead and check out Gex. Wow, this game actually plays decently well. I mean, it's just a 2D game, but... So far, I haven't really noticed anything in the way of issues. I remember playing this back in the day, but not on the 3DO. 3DO is going to be another one of those systems that you're not going to get the full library working on here. Not currently, anyway. But still, a cool little bonus. Haven't seen too much in the way of images that have had 3DO, so hey, why not? Here we go, a little Wolfenstein on the 3DO. Now we do have Atari Jaguar as well. What do we got going on in here? Wow. Yeah, the inconsistency with the art style is kind of kind of wonky here. Uh, some of these don't have snaps, or are they just not loading? Alien vs. Predator. Oh, it just takes a second to load. Defender. Okay, Alien vs. Predator. Probably one of the, uh, the main games that was... Worth having a Jaguar for? Right, audio seems a little, uh, a little wonky. Hey, fool. Interesting to see Jaguar on the Pi 4, but that's yeah, not going to be perfect. Have him in the face. Bitch. Okay, well, that's interesting. I'm not really sure what's going on here. This is Doom on the uh, Jaguar, but yeah, this, this uh, doesn't appear right. Maybe a little ambitious trying to get this working on here, but it is not working for me. So you know what? 
not that excited to mess around with Jaguar on this build or on the Pi 4 in general. I'm not sure what's up with this screen. Holy crap. So interesting to see all that stuff there. We also have Naomi, a Thomas Wave, PCFX, which interesting to see that on here as well. Really cool. So we're going to have to do some follow-up testing more of these systems in a future video because there is so much to cover here with over 11,000 games. I'm not going to test them all, but definitely going to have to be doing some follow-up videos on this build because there's a lot of things going on here. My main criticism is, uh, you know, the inconsistencies with the art style, the way things are formatted. Uh, I could see some people not digging that. It is customizable, so that's a huge plus. But overall, I think this solid image that just needs a little, you know, a little polish, I guess you would say. But hey, guys, really do appreciate you hanging out with me. Follow along with this build. We're going to be taking a look at more things with it, seeing what's up, seeing if uh, it's going to be up there on that, you know, place of the, the arcade punks. You know what I'm saying. We'll figure things out. Really do appreciate it. And with that said, I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.